Ye Chen Taiming, founder of Electronic Components, Behemoth Yejo Corporation, Epicurean, SD and one of Taiwan's wealthiest businessmen, is selling part of his wine collection. Five auctions of extraordinarily rare bottles and mythical vintages, in Hong Kong, Paris, Burgundy, New York and London, built an Epicurean's Atlas, will start in November. They will feature 25,000 bottles from Chen's personal cellar, which is said to hold some of the world's most fabled wines from Bordeaux, Burgundy, Champagne and France's Rhone Valley. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs. Analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. This is a truly Olympian wine seller of global significance, says Serena Sutcliffe, Master of Wine and Honorary Chairman of Sotheby's Wine Division. Chen is known first and foremost as one of the world's leading collectors of art, having begun acquiring his collection in 1976 when, as a student, he saved enough money to buy. For 25,000 New Taiwan Dollars, a sculpture by Hong Kong-based artist Chang Yi. Today, works by artists such as Pablo Picasso, Francis Bacon, Gerhard Richter, Mark Rocco and Sai Twombly have pride of place in Chen's collection. And some are on show in a special exhibition at the Tate Modern in London until January 2024. Earlier in 2023, Forbes estimated Chen's net worth to be around 5.5 billion US dollars. His passion for wine began around the same time as his art collecting. Chen initially sought out better-known Bordeaux wines before moving to the then underrated wines of Burgundy. In 2015, his love for Burgundy led him to acquire a parcel of Grand Cru Musigny vineyard from wine producer Domaine Faith Lee allowing him to produce hundreds of his own magnums a year, five of which will be made available at auction for only the second time. The wine are for auction through Sotheby's, which represents just a fraction of Chen's full portfolio, was acquired over four decades. It is not the first time Sotheby's has hosted an auction of Chen's wines. In 2021, the auction house presented The Art of Living, legendary wines from the seller of Pierre Chen, which raked in 116 million Hong Kong dollars, 15 million US dollars, surpassing the pre-sale estimate of 88 million Hong Kong dollars. Sotheby's is hopeful this new offering from Chen's sellers will break records. An estimate sale proceeds will reach 50 million US dollars. This is the ultimate wine collection, says Nick Pagner, the global head of wine and spirits at Sotheby's. Full of extraordinarily rare bottles and mythical vintages, Mr. Chen's seller will capture the imagination not just of existing wine connoisseurs, but of wine lovers and enthusiasts around the world. Wine is the only art form one can consume. Using senses that other art forms don't typically involve, such as one's taste and smell. Pierre Chen Timing The first sale begins in Hong Kong during a wine festival from 23 to 25 November. With another plan for the city in November 2024. Each sale will be dedicated to a different type of wine or highlight a particular characteristic of the lots for sale. There will be two sales in Hong Kong, one at the beginning and one at the end of this global series of auctions. It's the only city that will host two auctions, Chen says. There is broad interest and knowledge of wines in this region and an increasing number of people have come to understand the value of wine as an essential part of their culinary and life experiences. Among the highlights of the first auction are three Methuselahs, six liter bottles of Domaine de Law Romani Conti, Law Tach, from the 1999 and 1985 vintages, two of the top red burgundy vintages of the past half century. 
highly sought after magnums of cross parent II, among the last produced by Godfather of Burgundy, Henri Jaya, before his retirement in 2001, will also be among the lots for sale. These rare bottles are estimated to fetch between 50,000 US dollars and 70,000 US dollars a piece. Sotheby's high pre-sale estimates are a nod to the boisterous wine market of the past decade by the auction house's own estimates. Its wine sales have tripled in this time. According to Sotheby's, 43% of sales have been to Asia-based bidders from China, Hong Kong, Japan, Taiwan and Singapore, while a new generation of purchasers have emerged. Sotheby's says 60% of new buyers have been in their 30s and 40s. Chen will open his first restaurant, Le Restaurant Blanc, in Paris this month, where wines from his vast cellar will be on the menu. As chief sommelier, he will have a chance to share his approach to appreciating wine. To me, wine is the ninth art. It is the only art form one can consume, using senses that other art forms don't typically involve, such as one's taste and smell, and it requires creativity on the part of the owner. He says, What dishes should I pair this bottle with, and what other bottles should I include in this meal? The combination of wine, food and company at any one moment makes each encounter totally unique. But every memory of every encounter brings a smile to my face. I suppose that is the magic of wine to me, the power to relieve moments through a single sip.